Let's bring you up to speed tonight. The shooting happened early Sunday morning at Tequila KC. That's near North 10th Street and Central Avenue in KCK. Four people killed, five others hurt. Police said the shooting may have been motivated by a dispute at the bar earlier that night. Now those who knew the four men killed, they're remembering them tonight. 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey leads our team coverage with the stories of their lives. Tom. Well, Kevin, the four victims who died here this weekend brought all sorts of impacts to the lives of people who knew them. They were sons, some were brothers, some were cousins, at least one was a dad. The deaths here this weekend bringing all sorts of pain to their friends and family members. When I heard his name, and I just didn't believe it, you know, just ton of bricks just falling on my head. Soon after hearing about the shooting at Tequila KC this weekend, Moises Viegas learned about a tragic connection. Just my sister started calling me. My friend called me, said, hey, um, Alfredo is one of the guys who was at the bar. He got shot. His 29-year-old cousin, Alfredo Calderon, one of four people shot and killed following what started as a night out with friends. Viegas describing Calderon as giving and kind, who also served as a dad. That was his whole life. His whole life was just those two kids. He lived for him. The tragedy also claiming the life of Everardo Meza, who Viegas remembers as being a good friend of Calderon's. Every time you'll see Alfredo, you'll see Ever. You know, they were always together, always hanging out, always having fun. On Monday, 41 Action News also learned more about another victim who sat at the bar at the time of the shooting. One friend describing Martin Rodriguez as a caring man, believing his only family to be a sister living in Cuba. The bartender described being close to him at the time of the violence. Cuban guy, his first day in the bar. He, he was the one in front of me. Just a day after the tragedy, others stopped by the site on Monday to remember the victims. One man who leads a Bible study even posted his phone number to Facebook, all to help people impacted by the crime. And that I will be more than willing to take whatever time it is out of my day to talk to them and help them in some way. Violence claiming the lives of four innocent people and now leaving behind pain and heartbreak for those who knew them. He's just a good guy, you know. The world lost an angel. For the families and friends, the focus now turns to funeral arrangements, and we know of at least two GoFundMe pages set up all to raise donations. Live in KCK, I'm Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News.